everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well if you're new here i'm joe i do craft videos and i try and do three a week so yeah let's get into it so for today's project this morning at two o'clock in the morning i was on aliexpress and i was just scrolling through because i couldn't sleep and i came across some home decor pieces and i absolutely fell in love i'll show you what they look like here And I was so close to buying them and then I realised that I could probably make these out of card. So that's what we're doing today. I actually put all my plans on hold. I went to sleep at about half past two in the morning, got up at eight o'clock this morning to start making these. And yeah, the first thing that I did was I took some A4 white card and folded it in half and then drew the shape that I wanted of my feather and then cut that out. And now I'm just tracing around that template and I'm going to get two extra feathers. Again, I'm going to cut these out with a pair of scissors and then we can get on to the next part. So now I've got my two feathers cut out. I'm actually going to glue these to another piece of A4 white card just to make them a little bit stronger and cut them out. Just use glue stick to do that. Now I'm just finding the center of the feathers and I'm going to mark this with a pencil and this is where we're going to fold. So I'm just going to do that on both of the feathers. And now I'm just going to fold on that line and this is just going to give the feathers a little bit more shape so they're not just completely flat. And we'll also be using this as a guideline for when we do the detail on the feathers as well. So now I've got my two feathers and they are the shape that I want. I'm now going to just mark off some sections on the side that I'm going to cut out just to give it a little bit more detail. I'm going to do one on one side and two on the other side. And then I'm just going to cut these sections out like so. And then I'm going to use this to mark out the same sections on the other feather. And I'll also cut that out as well. So now I'm just taking some A4 white card and I'm measuring quarter of a centimetre strips. And I'm going to do a few of these because we're going to use this to decorate the feathers. And then with the strips, I'm going to glue these in place. I'm going to start about a centimetre from the top of the feather. I'm going to use a glue stick to glue this card down. So I'm just going to pop some glue on there. And then starting from the centre fold, I'm just going to stick my strip down and it's going to be at a slight angle and then I'm just going to cut off the excess. I'm going to do exactly the same to the other side again starting from the center fold and I'm going to do this all the way down the feather and on both of them and I'm going to leave about a centimeter gap in between each section. I'm not going to measure it I'm just going to do it by eye but I'm going to continue till I get to the bottom So on the picture that I'm using from AliExpress as a reference, they have the center part of the feather going down the front and I'm actually going to use wooden skewers for this bar and I'm going to stick them on the back. But before I do that, I'm just going to cover all the center fold where we've just glued down all our pieces of card and this is just to make it a little bit neater and I'm just going to use a glue stick to glue that in place and I'm going to do exactly the same on both of the feathers. And then I'm actually going to glue the wooden skewers to the back of the feather. I'm going to use some clear glue. And then I'm going to let them dry, make sure they're nice and dry. And then we can get on to the fun part of painting. For the paint, I'm using a mixture of white acrylic paint and the Peacock metallic acrylic paint from Poundland. It is quite thin, the metallic paint, so I always mix it with white. It does dry a lot darker than the colour that you mix, so if you want it quite light, I'd add a bit more white to it. 
I ended up doing I think it was three coats on the front of the feathers and then I did two coats on the back and I completely covered the front and the back of the feather so I'm going to do that let it dry between each coat I speeded it up using a hair dryer and this is what it looks like painted so really happy with the color and then I'm struggling I've been mentioning this for a while in my videos I've had to find gold spray paint I can't get gold spray paint anywhere I keep looking on Amazon and it's so expensive and I know that I can pick it up for a pound or a couple of pound in Palmland and B&M's but they just don't have any in at the moment so I ended up using a Posco marker I actually got this off Amazon and I ended up not liking how it was looking so I managed to find the smallest amount of gold paint at the bottom of a tin and I'm going to go and spray paint them now. So I've just covered all the blue sections with masking tape and I'm going to spray the top bit and the bottom bit in gold and hope that I've got enough to cover it up. And I just add enough to spray paint the top and the bottom bits of the feathers. So it's about three hours since I spray painted these feathers and I've done all sorts of different things with them and I wasn't happy with any of the way that I finished them off and they looked and then I nearly give up and I just remembered that there was a glass jar in the box that Kate sent me last week when she had to sort through her craft supplies and she sent me what she didn't want anymore and I'm so happy that I had this Kate. Thank you so much because it really really did just finish it off nicely so all I'm doing with it is I'm just wrapping some brown string around the top of it and just glued it in place with my glue gun and once that I've got enough around that I'm happy with I'm just going to just pop that to the side and then also in the box that Kate sent was these little wooden tags and I'm actually going to cut this so that it's a little bit smaller I'm going to use a craft knife to do this So now that I've got it to the size that I want, I'm just going to thread this onto the string and then I'm going to continue to wrap the string around the neck of the jar and then just glue the end bit in place at the back. And then when I get some more gold paint, I am going to spray paint this gold inside. But for now, I'm just going to glue the feathers in and I'm just going to glue them into the neck. So the... One of them I'm going to glue behind the little wooden tag that we've just put in place. And then the other one I'm going to glue at a straight up angle at the back also. And then just to finish it off for now, I'm just going to add some gold ribbon around the base. And the gold ribbon is from Poundland. It was in the Christmas section in a set where you got quite a few different gold ribbons. And we can have a look what it looks like. So here's a recap of what they look like on AliExpress and yeah I could have just added a little bit of a wooden block to the bottom of the wooden skewers and they would have looked exactly the same but I wanted to add my own little spin on it. I think they were £5 as well. I think they were £5 plus post and packaging but I didn't really have a look at price once I decided that I was going to be making them. Here are the ones that I made and yeah they're a lot darker the colour of the blue but I absolutely love the gold against the blue and yeah I'm going to end up spray painting the inside of the inkwell when I get some more gold spray paint. I'll just take the feathers out spray paint the inside and then re-glue the feathers in. And also you don't have to do them in these colours, you could do them in any colours that you want. I think a real pale pink and a pale grey would look really nice together or a silver. And you could do so many different things with these, they'd look nice in flower displays. I think a reef would look really nice in these as well, just completely full of feathers. I think that would look really effective. You could make smaller ones and then add them to cards or use them as embellishments in loads of different crafts. But I hope it's really giving you some ideas of what you can do and I just love the fact that I didn't have to pay anything for these I already had all the stuff and obviously if I'd had ordered them I would have had to have them waiting to deliver and I saw them last night and now they're on my unit and yeah really really happy with how they look so before you buy anything just see just have a think and see if you can make something either similar or exactly the same 
But yeah, I'm really glad that I gave it a go and I put all my plans on hold. But yeah, I will be back on Friday. I'm hoping that my dad's toolbox will be finished then. I had to go and get some wood from Wix. I had a bit of a wobble. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I got, I did a few big things to it and then nothing was working. So I had to step back from it for a couple of days. But yeah, really looking forward to start working on it again tomorrow. So I will see you on Friday hopefully with my dad's toolbox. So till then, take care and I'll see you then. Bye for now.